Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Reunion with Part 1. Oh. <laughs> like, oh my God. Oh my God. First of all, why were all the irrelevant people on the, on the couch? The mama, sincere. I just, I, I was trying to figure that out. I will say it's Masika. I don't like you, and this you made me like Nikki, and I, I don't know how to feel about that. I'm still like I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go throw up after this episode. I may have to you know this little section because I'm just like what? But I'm proud of you for not. I don't know. Did she cuss out the girl mama? I don't know for sure. But we'll get to that a little bit later. But yeah, and I it was it was a key. It was definitely a key. Who got me away from thinking about finals? So amen, thank you Jesus. But yeah, love hip hop Hollywood. Ooh, excuse me. So it started off with a, and let me tell you, Mona Scott has been going to Andy Cohan's school of shade, foolery, and uh, stupidity, and just all kinds of it, teas and idioms and all that other kind of stuff. And so she starts off with her and talking about uh, Tia Marie's relationship and um, I was about to say West Coast. What's his name? Ray J, and how. At first, uh, and I was so mad at her. The whole little thing with the uh, dropping out the purse and whatever, and she talking about uh, what did the old girl say? Mona Scott was like, um, "Oh, so yeah, this um, what? So what was in the purse? They say they took a picture of money stat. I'm like, bitch, really? You you gonna go there? At least let the whole that you gonna bring back, which is princess, talk about it. But you didn't. So um." She, you know, tells her that, and I'm glad Tierra didn't turn up because I guess you can't turn up on Mona Scott, but whatever. Uh, she come in, and a uh, princess. I forgot what princess is. She sit down, and is that her real hair? Because her hair is nice. That's all I can say. But uh, at uh, I guess before she even came out, Ray J was like, "Oh, I'm sorry if I did this to hurt you," and I guess. From the looks of it, from the first episode, oh yeah, my hair is like, ugh. From the first little part or whatever, Cherry seemed to be okay. I guess that they were broken up, which we already knew it wasn't gonna last long or whatever. So after all that said and done, Prince, you know, Princess comes in and you know she says, "Well, why he uh, tell me he bow jangled her, and, you know, in a, a swimming pool and all, and all that good stuff and." <laughs> what Mona Scott didn't say is a uh, old girl pushed her to try to grab uh, Ray J in the house. So after all that, um, who, who, who was relevant at that time? I think we get to what Berg and uh, Berg Masika and uh, what's that chick name and Hazel. Y'all, this hoe had the nerve to say uh, something about Hazel is cloudy and some crap. For her being delusional, I'm just like, really? Why you have to do that girl like that? You supposed to be her friend, and she don't. Dang, everybody do Hazel E bad. She just needs to not be on Love and Hip Hop anymore. Like, if they do you like this, they told you to make your hair blonde. You, sh I would have just if this would be my last episode, I would have made some money off this uh, show because I would have tore up. Uh, uh, what's that girl name? I would have told Masika, and then I would have I would have read Mona Scott for everything. I would have read her and exposed everything. But you know what? You smart, so hey, do what you do. So yeah, who's next? Uh, her and Young Bird. Young Bird talk about uh, cause y'all they birds, they birds. I'm just flies and birds. She fly, but yeah, um. They started to talk about their relationship. They were together for 10 years, I guess. Not together, but friends for 10 years since 2006 or whatever. Bird was like, I guess I'm sorry if I let you on, but you know what the situation was. Hazel E was like, you're not my friend. She didn't say fried. I don't think she said fried any of this time. But then her and Masika started going back and forth. And I was just like, we watched another episode of uh, Love Hip Hop Hollywood. Like, for real. I'm just like. Mm hmm You said this. She said that. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. We don't care. I really don't care about y'all little feud or fiasco. Then this, uh, what's her name? Mona Scott brings in Nikki Baby or whatever the hell her name is. I about to say Nikki Bella, but this ain't uh Total Divas. And Nikki was like, "Well, if you're gonna be on TV and you're doing scenes with her and you're doing this and you're doing that." 
you're portraying something on TV and what you're portraying on TV is that you're friends. So if you're friends, you should be friends and you know, she, Masika kind of went off on her, but I ain't gonna lie, Nikki had a clapback just so which I'm trying to figure out why the hell is your mama there? Why did Mona Scott bring their mama there? Like you you was doing good by yourself. You need you know, and you and your mama and you cussing out a girl, but we're gonna get to that in just a second. But yeah, um she you know, talking to Masika, your I think it was Hazel. Ida was putting her resume in, you're a prostitute, you this, you that, you escort and all this other good stuff. So I don't know. But the fact that uh, a girl talked about Bird's penis like it was fun size. Baby, that's not fun size. This is fun size. Like, girl, that's, that's, um, like, girl, that's, <laughs> that's soft on somebody's good day life. <laughs> I just know, like, that's, ooh, that's that, mm. Mm, 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 that's little But hey if you want to do fun size Like you said you do fun size So that was, it was cute at the end that you called him little Then you said it's fun size So Berg be happy about that Because the verdict is in And baby you don't even look like you pushing 5 uh, inches And you is he is he mixed? Boy you didn't get the black side You didn't even get the white side You got the baby Berg side Like I just ooh, ooh, But I don't want it This fool had the nerves take and fit in her nostril and I was just like, girl, that, that don't make it any better. But okay, hunty. Okay. So, yeah. After that, we let's get into a little, uh, what is it? Nikki, uh, Nikki Baby. Nikki Baby, her mama, and Masika. And what I found cute was Mona Scott was... I guess I don't. I don't. Did she hush somebody up? Cause I know she hushed up Tierra. She's like, I'm gonna get the uh, people on you, Tierra. And yeah, does this look good? Did I have to sick the people on you and blah blah blah? I'm like, Tierra not gonna do. Anything. Well, maybe she is, but I don't know. I don't think she's gonna do anything for right now. But I mean, she can clip a few of uh, Princess's ends. That would be nice. So snatch it so I can see if it's real. Uh, but yeah, it was some funny old girl. Somebody she was uh, Princess. Somebody she was on. I snatch a wig and Tierra was like, come do it. Because as soon as you come do it, all this 38 bundle, uh, this uh, poofy weave I got, I still pop and weave and left it loop the whoop on that ass. And I'm just like, I need this to happen. But it don't. But like I said, Masika and uh, what's that her girl name? Nikki. And then her mom. Why? Why was she there, Mona? And you let her talk. And if I take off my clothes, you took off my clothes, I'll still be this, I'll still be that. You all this crap. You, I would have been like, Mama, ch chill out with all that. Because that, that's no. No. Heck to no. Then some dude going to put up uh, uh, some money or whatever. Like, boy, say that because you need to go buy some shoes or whatever. You know, you just. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. all I can say is. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter, Nikki could handle herself. Because Nikki was, Nikki was just. just Scratching hunger, eyes out, eye, everything. She said, I forgot what she said. She's like, girl, I own you. I ain't even mad at you. I'll throw you a couple of grand so you can do something. I was like, oh, girl, be like, uh, be like, uh, Nico and them just start throwing up money. That would have been funny. She played, she played it off good, even though I think she wanted to knock her head up. But to be honest, I want my niece to beat up, um, <laughs> Masika. I just do, but you already know what's happening. I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say Masika. Gave me two faced teas, but it was cute because it was like peanut butter and you know what's what's the other peanut butter and chocolate? It, it was it was it wasn't bad, but you still gave me two faced teas. So you know, I don't, I know my antics. I'm just I I've, I've been watching a little bit, and then the nerve for the mama to be like, I'm just like really. This, like, I just, yeah, I just, I was so, that made me so mad. And so, like, uh, Mona, Mona, no, don't, don't be having, and that's so wrong, but peace.